Good morning. If you struggle with using the Gutenberg block editor or you're a beginner to it, today I'm going to give you five easy tips to make your life easier. In my view, using the list view is the easiest way to truly understand how your pages and posts are built with blocks and Gutenberg. It's accessed via this little icon over here and you click on it and it will show you all the blocks that you use on your pages. It's especially useful when you're using container blocks like the media and text block. But did you know you can actually open it automatically every time you create a new page? To do that, just come across to the top right, click on the three little dots in the top right, then come all the way down here, click on preferences, and this is the option we want. Always open list view. Just click on that and now every time you publish a brand new page, the list view over here on the left will always be visible. Let's try it out. So just click on add new page and now we should see the list view is open by default and it will always remain open for us. Some other page builders give you a nice clear outline of the blocks or widgets you're using when you're building your pages and there is a plugin you can add to your WordPress site to Gutenberg to do exactly the same thing. It's called the Editor Block Outline plugin. Link in the description below. Here is how it works. So you'll see when I go and hover over any of the blocks on my pages, I get this little hover thing happening. It tells me the name of the block. It comes with lots of nice settings as well. You can see over in the block settings panel. You can also do things like show the class name if you want to actually target that. That's quite cool. And you can change the position of it and you can also change the color of it. I like them floating but you can have them visible all the time if you want to but I like to see it floating personally but it's up to you. You've got some nice preferences and you can also change the opacity of it as well. Again I like to shove that up to 100 so you can really clearly see it if you are going to use it. You can change the padding as well but if you are struggling to understand the context of the blocks or what blocks your site is using check it out. The floating toolbar is this little bar here and it lets you do formatting things when you're working on the paragraph block and it changes when you're working on different types of blocks. Normally it's fine because you're working on the block and it appears above the block you're working on. However, when you're working in more complex layouts like the columns block down here and you click in here, it kind of gets in the way and it's really, really irritating. Luckily there's an easy solution to this. All you do is come to the top right. Again, it's these three little dots and it's the first option here top toolbar, just click on that and it fixes the top toolbar right to the top of the page. It's actually one of the first things I ever do when I'm working on a WordPress site and Gutenberg, I always fix it right to the top. It gets it completely out of the way so it never does this overlapping thing in the columns block. I see lots of people on the forums who are asking questions like, what page builder do you suggest I use with Gutenberg? And in a sense, I think when you're first learning Gutenberg, it's really a good idea not to use any third-party block libraries whatsoever. So you understand what's possible with it just using core Gutenberg, because an awful lot is. If you subscribe to this channel, you'll see I'm building out all sorts of amazing sites just using no plugins whatsoever, just using the core Gutenberg. So my advice is don't jump into using a third-party block library until you truly understand what's possible with just the base software. So what I would suggest is you give yourself two hours or three hours or four hours. Just use Gutenberg and the 2023 theme. Take it for a spin, see what's possible, give yourself some challenges. Once you've found the gaps in it, there may not be any gaps, but once you've found the gaps in it, then move on to looking at third-party plugins that add extra functionalities to Gutenberg. But I guarantee you'll probably be surprised at how much is possible now just using the core cool Gutenberg. I suggest the 2023 theme because that's going to give you the ultimate experience at the moment with using Gutenberg. If you try to learn using the 2023 theme, then you can be guaranteed that all the blocks will be properly supported. You'll have the full range of typography controls, the full range of design controls like padding and margin and dimensions and all that good stuff. Whereas if you use another theme, they might not fully support what's possible in Gutenberg yet. Once you've used Gutenberg for a bit and done your four hours training, then one of the things you might want to do is remove any unwanted blocks that you're never going to use. So when I click on the block inserter up here, these are all the blocks that come with Gutenberg now. And there's loads and loads of them, but you can actually manage them and get rid of the ones you don't want. So for me, at the moment, I'm not writing any poetry. So let's say I wanted to get rid of this verse block. I can do it. I just come to the top right again, click on the options, little three dots, come down here to preferences, come across here to blocks and in here we can actually turn on and off blocks that we don't want in the block inserter. So I'm going to hide the verse block and now when I click on the plus sign my verse block has gone. 
So there's my five tips. Let me know in the comments below if you've got your own tips or you think I've missed any out. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button, it'll be amazing because it really helps spread the word of the channel and it'll make it viewed by more people who are learning Gutenberg. So hopefully they'll get better as well. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you really want to take your WordPress learning to the next level, then check out one of the courses that I run, links in description below, or just subscribe to this channel. I've now done over 150 videos on just WordPress Gutenberg, so hit subscribe and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Thank you for watching, keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.